Hello everyone, my name is Blaine Pearson and I am an instructor in Texas Tech's Personal Financial Planning Program. In this video, we're going to take a look at some basic introductory Excel skills that you can utilize in portfolio management. To begin, let's first take a look at a hypothetical client situation. In this hypothetical client situation, we have our client, Lisa Goforth, age 35. Lisa is engaged and plans to keep her assets separate from her partner. So she tells you only to make recommendations for her. Some other information about Lisa is that she is employed by a local law firm. She already owns a paid off $150,000 home, so there is no lien or there is no mortgage. She has a moderate risk appetite. She currently has $500,000 in a taxable account and $200,000 in a 401k account. She makes $160,000 a year, spends $100,000, and saves the other $60,000. For this example, we're going to exclude the effect of taxes. She wants to continue spending $100,000 throughout retirement and does not have any interest in gifting or leaving any bequests at her death. Her goal is to retire as soon as possible, but she also wants to make sure she can maintain her current lifestyle in retirement. Expected inflation moving forward is 4%. In taking a look at her positions that she has, she in her taxable account has $500,000 worth of positions. So here is a taxable account. Here in this column, are the positions that she owns, the ticker of those positions, the value of how much is in her portfolio, and the cost basis of those positions, and whether or not she has a long or a short term gain on those positions. In the next sheet, we have her 401k account. In her 401k account, she just has one fund, the T. R. Price Retirement 2035 fund, the ticker, and the value. To start off, let's take a look at formatting our data. The first thing that I like to do is to sum the entire value of her portfolio. So we can use the equals sum function in Excel and sum up all of her positions. So she has a $500,000 portfolio. The next thing I like to do is take a look at the percentage of assets to the value of her portfolio. So we can create a new column and just enter percent of total portfolio. And from here, we can hit equals the value of the position divided by the entire amount of the portfolio. From here, if we want to make it look more aesthetically pleasing, we can add the percentage function to give us 20%. So what this number says is that she owns in her entire portfolio, 20% of it of Apple. So 20% of her entire portfolio is invested into Apple stock. What we can then do is take this number and we can lock the portfolio value. You can use the F4 function to lock whatever cell you would like to lock when constructing an equation in Excel. Alternatively, you can also add the dollar symbols seen here. Hitting enter again locks it into place. And from here, we can then move to the corner of the cell, click, hold, drag, and drop. What this does is it provides us the percentage amount of each asset in the portfolio. Since we locked the total value of the portfolio using the F4 function, we don't have to continually go and retype the equation. Again, this is Blaine Pearson, and in this video, we reviewed the basic skills of Excel and portfolio management. Thank you for watching.